hello. Oh, hello. Yes, am I through to Jehovah's Witnesses? Oh. <laughs> you are. Oh, great. Thank you. Um, yes, um, I was on jw.org, find a meeting. Um, I'm reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever, and I've just got a couple of things I don't understand. I was just wondering if someone could help, please. Well, where are you? Uh... You're going to have... Sorry, I've got trouble here. You're going to have to speak up. I'm, I'm somewhat to the west of you. I don't want people to visit me at my house. I don't want to go on a database. But I just, I'm just reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever. I've just got some questions. Right. So, how did you get this number? I've told you. Uh, JW.org, find a meeting. Right. So, but see, you randomly... Okay, okay. Well, it's difficult to get in contact with Jehovah's Witnesses. No one seems to answer the phone. <laughs> well, that's why, well, that's why we're knocking on people's doors, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, but you, you, you don't want you don't want somebody to come and come and knock on your door, basically. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, I value my my privacy. I, I if I get to trust people, then I will welcome. Um, you know, meeting people face to face, but um, uh, I like to get to know people first and know that I can trust people for, before I invite them to my home. Yeah, well, it, it, that's why um, I am. Um... I mean, you okay. you do the same. You you don't you know, you would want to invite a serial killer to your home. You know, you you would like to get to know people first so you can trust people, okay. and then you get to know them better and you open up to them once you yeah. once you okay. trust them. Right. So that's why when you on the website, you would contact the congregation that is. I'm in not. I've, 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 I can't get through to them. They don't answer the phone. Look, I'm reading your book. Enjoy life forever. Do you, do you, do you want to help me? Or are you more interested in where I where I live and locations and phone calls? Because I'm. No, so... no, no. <laughs> I will just follow what you just said, that once you feel you can trust someone, then you would invite them. That means then that they would follow through. It's just that if I start something and then you say, well, uh, would you like me to, to visit you? I wouldn't be the best person for you, would I? You understand? That, that I, was the reason. I what, don't care. What, what, what is your question? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm puzzled about lesson lessons seven in the book uh it's page 29 what is jehovah like i mean there's a couple of questions but this is one yeah um, let me uh, reach out to reach, reach, reach for the, the publication myself yeah I, sure I can, uh... and it's paragraph one why are we unable to see god and it makes a very fine statement it says god is a spirit john four twenty four. jehovah does not have a physical body he is a spirit who lives in heaven, a place that we cannot see. So obviously I would agree with that. That's a fine, fine statement. My question is, if your book says Jehovah is a spirit, what I want to know is, is the Holy Spirit a spirit or is the Holy Spirit not a spirit? Um, the Holy Spirit, um, just, uh, let's just, answer to that question I'll just locate where you can find that uh, I'm, I'm only interested in is the Holy Spirit a spirit I'm not interested in anything else I'm not interested in the Trinity I'm not interested uh, in persons I'm not interested in active force I just want to know is the Holy Spirit a spirit which will be a yes or no answer number four yes very, yes very yes clear. I've read it I've read it but I'm not interested in I, I want to know before I go to section four is the Holy Spirit a spirit, no, 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 or is the Holy Spirit four. not a spirit? Which section did you just read? I read from section one. What is Jehovah like? Uh, section one on page 29. I'm fully aware of section four on page 30. I've read it. But no, I no, want no, to... no. I, I, right. 
So, section one. Why are you unable to see God? Yeah? Yes. That's what I have. Right. Now, since you have the book, the answer to your question is number four. No, it's not. You don't need no, it's not. That talks. Of, that makes the claim that the Holy Spirit is God's active force. That's not my question. I want to know, is the Holy Spirit, who you say is God's active force, is the Holy Spirit or God's active force a spirit, or is the Holy Spirit active force not a spirit? That's my, my question, sir. What, what does Luke say? Pardon? What does Luke 11, 13 say? Well, it's, it's not... It's not relevant to my question. It is. It is. Well, I, I don't see how it's how it's yeah. relevant at all. I just want to know, is the Holy Spirit a spirit? Uh, see, part of the problem, I, I'm a former Pentecostal. I used to go to okay. Pentecostal churches. Now, what I discovered was most Pentecostal people, including Pentecostal preachers, are absolutely ignorant, not just of the Bible, they're ignorant of their own teaching. They don't know Pentecostal doctrine. All they know is they bang the tambourine. You've got the praise band uh, rocking away with the latest Jesus rock song. They collect the tithe and everyone goes home and comes back next next week to pay even more money. People are ignorant. They, they don't know the Bible. They don't know their own doctrine. And it's almost impossible to have a conversation with, with people. They just want to give you books or, or give you DVDs that you're supposed to spend the rest of your life reading. But they can't answer simple questions. So what I would le really like to know is, as a Jehovah's Witness, do you know Jehovah's Witness doctrine? Do you know your Bible? Are you capable of having a dialogue with me and, and, and answering a simple question? Thank you. Having a dialogue with you, yes, sir. I am answering Christian because, as a Jehovah's Witness, the Bible for us is God's word. What I think cannot go beyond what the Bible says, and so for every question you are asking, there is a scripture there. If you look at Acts chapter two and verse seventeen, I thought you wanted to go to Acts eleven thirteen, but you're going to a different verse. Okay, my Acts spirit, chapter two. I, my spirit. On every sort of flesh. Which, which, is, which sorry, which verse? Point four. Acts All chapter to, two. Uh, which verse, verse do you want me to go to? Verse 17. Acts two, verse 17. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to read it? And in the last days, God said, I will pour out some of my spirit on every sort of flesh. And your sons and your daughters prophesy, and your young men will see vision, and your old men will dream dreams. Mm -hmm. What is that spirit that he is pouring out? And can you say that again, please? What is that spirit that God will pour out? So are you saying the Holy Spirit is a spirit? It is God's active force that is pouring out. That's not my question. I want to know, is the Holy Spirit a spirit? Yes or no? I am giving you. If it is not up to your satisfaction, then I cannot help you. Um, I don't know how I can make the question any simpler. I just want to know, is the Holy Spirit a spirit, or is the Holy Spirit not a spirit? Have the publication, then I suggest you continue reading through. You will see that this same subject is developed in the next point. Jehovah uses the Holy Spirit to accomplish amazing things. And then it tells you there at Psalm 36 and verse 6 that the word of Jehovah, by the word of Jehovah, the heavens were made. And by the Spirit of his mouth, everything in them. Again. Would the reference to Spirit there be Holy Spirit? What else would it be? Of course, it has to be Holy Spirit, hasn't it? Do, do, do you agree the reference to his spirit has to be Holy Spirit there? Um, I don't know if Jehovah having any other spirit than Holy Spirit. Right, so the Bible says the Holy Spirit is a spirit, yes? No, the Holy Spirit is God's active force. 
Which verse of the Bible in the Greek or Hebrew calls the Holy Spirit God's active force? I haven't found one verse that uses active force anywhere in the Greek or Hebrew text. Thank you very much for your question. Well, Did you're not, I... you're not, you're, I mean, what, surely you want to engage with people. I mean, do you think I, it's possible, I, I, do, you, do you think it's possible that you don't know this subject yourself? You haven't studied this yourself and you're not really capable of teaching because like the Pentecostals I used to be associated with, you don't really know it deep down. What? Guess what? I used to be, I used to, Grab those tambourines as well. And then I started to read the Bible. Right. Could you dialogue with me, sir? Thank you. Could Thank you, you very much. Please don't run oh. away. Come on. Real men don't don't Thank run away. You. Not a real a real man, sir. Come on. Oh, that's what he's done. Bush Hill.